right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all are doing okay today. So, I heard a piece of news uh, a couple days ago now, I guess. And it's one of those things like I knew it was coming, but I didn't want to be right. So, California has lost a lot of population over the past several years. And the people that have left at this point in the game are those that are top income earners. So, they are now um, facing a multi-billion dollar tax shortfall year over year due to lack of tax paying citizens in the state but a huge amount of the taxpayer funded programs have no drop off in use whether it's you know, uh, government subsidized housing or homeless assistance or whatever, all those taxpayer funded programs are still seeing very similar use to what they were say in 2019, early 2020, but they're losing taxpayers. You know, think about it. Uh, just off the top of my head, you know, Joe Rogan signed that big deal with Spotify. He's a millionaire podcaster. All of his tax revenue is no longer in the state of California. Same goes for Ben Shapiro. His company with 100 employees, they moved most of their employees to either Tennessee or Florida. They're no longer part of the tax base in California. Um, Dave Rubin has left California for Florida. And there's, I know a family member that has personally left from California for Florida and a uh, guy I go to church with moved to Kentucky. So there's a lot of taxpayers that have fled the state of California for whatever reason. And the state is facing a major tax revenue shortfall. And who's going to be left to pay it? Well, they're either going to have to cut taxpayer spending, you know, quit spending the tax revenue as much, or they're going to have to tax the lower income people at a higher rate in order to make up the difference. And I hate to say it, but I said that this was going to happen uh, two years ago when the California depopulation, as far as you know, people just fleeing the state or leaving the state pardon me, became an actual thing that people were hearing about and talking about. I said then that, you know, this is going to happen. The people that moving isn't a make or break financial decision and that aren't, that are in career fields that were, that are not attached to a location, they're going to be up and gone pretty quick. I am in manufacturing. I'm attached to my plant. And so there's only so far with me maintaining my current job and current insurance and all that, that I'm able to move and still have a reasonable commute. If I worked in something where I can, you know, remote interview in and go here and do this thing and then go over here, well, guess what? I can, if it's a national company, I can move to any state and do the same kind of stuff so long as the company's in that state. And there's a lot of people that have started doing that. Uh, my family member that moved to Florida, they were involved in uh, public works um, in California. They worked for the for a shelter, and I'm assuming that they're doing the same kind of thing in Florida now. So, yeah. California has lost so much population that they're losing tax revenue, and I, I called it. I hate to say I told you so, folks. I feel sorry for the lower income earners in California that either couldn't move or had to wait it out to see what happened, or 
couldn't afford to move at that point in time because at this point it's only going to get more difficult. That's what I have to say, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Have a good one. Take care, and I'll see y'all next time.